Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the slope, that what is slope, how we can explain and define the slope, and how we can calculate the slope with different examples. So, uh, first of all, to explain the slope, we might have seen the slope is always represented in the ratio, for example, 1 ratio 5 or 1 ratio 20 or 1 ratio, for example, example 1000 or 1 ratio 500. So we might have seen that the slope is represented in the ratio, where in the ratio, the left side shows the vertical part of the slope and the right shows the horizontal part of the slope. Now, what does this mean? So, it means if I represent in a line here, I mean this is in the road surface, this is in the road surface, which is inclined here, the slope is increases, and then it goes to the top, and then it, the car moves down on the road surface. So, this is the road surface. Now, how we can define the slopes? For example, if the slope of this road is this one 1 ratio 20 the slope of this road is 1 ratio 20 so this means that if I consider this line here so so the vertical part of this line will be 1 meter and the horizontal this is the vertical part which is the 1 and the right side which is horizontal which shows the horizontal so 20 will be the horizontal so it means 20 meter is the horizontal length of the road if the vertical is 1 meter from this base. So 1 is the vertical meter and 20 meter is the horizontal length. Now this might be in foot. For example, 1 foot in vertical and 20 foot in horizontal. The unit may be varies, but it should be kept in mind that the ratio of this road is 1 ratio 20. The, if one part is vertical, then 20 times is the horizontal length of this road. 20 times one, twenty times the vertical part. So, this shows the uh, slope of the road. Now, the slope of this road, for example, is 1 ratio 5. It means that the vertical part of this, it may be 1 kilometer. So the horizontal will be equal to 5 km. So where the left side shows the vertical part of slope and this shows the horizontal part of the slope. So now 1 km or maybe 1 mile is the vertical part and 5 km or 5 miles is the horizontal part of this road. So here we can define the road surface by a slope which is very important in the uh, serving. Now, how we can um, find out the slopes? So, there are mainly uh, two, uh, two ways to find out the slope. So, uh, one is the percentage method where we can find our, our slope. So, how, for example, if we have a road here and the length of this road here is the road and we know the height of the road is for example 10 meter and the length of this road is 30 meter. So how we can find out the slope for this load by percentage method. So the slope is equal to the rise divided by run. Or we can see the height divided by base. So this is the rise which is the height and this is the run part at the base part, so rise is 10 meter here, divided by the run which is 30 meter, so we got here 0.3. So meter meter will be cancelled, so slope don't have any unit, so we can say 0.3 and we may multiply this 0.3 with 100, so we will get our slope in percentage. So we got here, here it was 0.33, so if you multiply 0.33 with 100, so we got here 33. 0.3 percent. So it means that the the slope of this low road is 33.3 percent. So now it means that one meter is in the height and third me third 
three times the height of this will be and the horizontal length. So this is the way to calculate the slope by percentage method. Now to calculate this with the, uh, the second one is the degree method. So in case of the degree method, so again if I take the same road profile, if this is the vertical and this is the horizontal, the vertical is again 10 meter and the horizontal is 30 meter. So in case of the degree method, we want to find out the degree of this one. So we know if we have the two values, vertical and the horizontal are known to us, then we can use this formula tangent theta is equal to the rise divided by run. So 10 meter divided by 30 meter, we got here 0.3. So tangent theta is equal to 0.3 and we can say tangent is equal to the tangent inverse if we bring this into the right side. So if we take the inverse of 0.3 we got here 16.7 degrees. So this is the slope in degrees. So the degree of this line is equal to 16.7. So this degree from the from the horizontal till to this road the degree is 16.7 degree. So this is the way how to find out the slope. In this case, it will be equal to the 16.7 degree. So slope can be represented either in percentage or either in degrees. So hope you guys understand um, what is slope, how we can uh, calculate the slope by the two meters. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.